Hello. Uh, I discovered something in the movie The Walk 2015 and would like to share it with you. And um, so let's do that. Um, but first of all, I need to tell you some background because otherwise the point will be lost. Uh, it will be lost on you. So I need to do this background uh, um, background explanation first. If you want, you can click skip skip intro. It will be a very long intro where I say a lot. But if you want, you can go directly to the to the content, and that's basically the end of the video, I believe. Um, so yeah. Um, the walk is about a man that is um, balancing between the two towers, the two the, the, the two pillars, um, and that means to to accept two sides of something. This is occult stuff and it, it has to do with um, Freemasonic pillars. You know, there are two pillars and there's one pillar in the middle. And I, and I have been talking about this a bit when it comes to World Trade Center Twin Towers, you know. And yeah, and actually why, why they, they fell and so on. Uh, I explained why they fell. It has to do with the most dangerous thing in the world. Uh, that there is nothing, there is really nothing to be afraid of because the most dangerous thing is for you to awaken. So, uh, what is the most dangerous uh, is you. And yeah, I see myself as the most dangerous thing actually. Uh, but maybe you should see yourself like that um, because that's the most dangerous thing it's it's simply an awakening which is that you balance in between these two towers of good and evil uh, and you mature and the light goes within illumination knowledge and so on but also spiritual spiritual awakening material destruction and this is why it's so dangerous this is this is why this is why it's so dangerous you know people try to to make you afraid of, of the world of, of, afraid of ai afraid of afraid of anything like anything uh, they can come up with um, Anything they can come up with is is there to make you afraid, so that you um, you forget what's the most dangerous, which is you or I, you know, as I see it. Um, but um, yeah, um, very very dangerous because spiritual I've been thinking for a few days just for fun uh, what is evil or, or rather like this what is uh, maybe maybe you could say that spirituality is evil <laughs> you see spirituality is evil you know so so why is spirituality evil uh, well, uh, because everything is destroyed. And isn't that a bit evil, you know? Everything is just destroyed, you know? And who cares? Because you reach uh, spirituality uh, and the light goes within and the rest the rest of it goes dark. And the, your surrounding is trying to, to, um, to uh, put you to sleep by making you afraid of things outside when in reality the most dangerous thing is simply you in your own silence and not really not really doing anything but simply 
awakening in some in some sense is is somehow the most dangerous thing. You don't really have to do anything, I believe either. It's just you're you're so freaking dangerous, you know, and, and so am I, and and um, it's, it's so scary. It really, it really is. It really is scary, especially if you are stuck in the material, the material world. It's it's so freaking scary, you know. Um, and um, it's just like this. There is some Bible verse about breaking, uh, breaking clay pottery, and and the clay pottery is like the material people in some way. And and this is this is a good uh, synonym or or a good metaphor. I mean, for for how it really is, you know. Um, your your success your success is dependent on the destruction of something else you see the destruction of material temples and this is what the two ta towers symbolize the, the the twin towers symbolize this fall of, of the temples and th there is an example of this from the biblical story that I also mentioned earlier, which is Solomon's temples, two temples, they fell on the 11th month, the 9th day. So we have a 9-11 there for, for, for the temples of Solomon, you see, and the physical temples fall. And I say, it's great, the physical temples are supposed to fall. Because you have to become spiritual and dangerous, you know. You have to become a spiritual dangerous being. Which is that the material falls apart. You see. It, it, uh, it's trying to make you afraid. The only way I out is to realize, okay, there's nothing to be afraid of. AI, nothing at all. And, and so it simply shatters, you know. And, and that's literally the towers it, it's a manifestation riddle for you to see and I've talked about it before but I will quickly show it again so that and then I will take a special clip here and and, and I will I'll, I'll take a clip from the walk and I'll show you why why this uh... oh it starts again the music great uh, yeah I'll, I'll show you why it is like this and, 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 and uh, uh, something really interesting from this, this movie that, that, that is showing the metamorphism you know oh metamorphism maybe you didn't heard of, hear, or hear of that before well I will start. I'll start a bit here. You know, I, I need to tell you some stuff. I need to. Uh, I need to. Oh no, not teach. But I'll need to tell you some stuff. Super Tramp. Um, uh, you take that. You invert it. You put. You realize that the orange juice is actually an orange. And then you see. Oh, the orange is a sun, which is the two towers, the sun, and. There's actually this statue below, which is, is this pearl. It's actually the king's pearl, uh, which is between the towers, uh, the twin towers. It, it's there now, but it was at that time. And you see, seeker of truth equals to metamorphosis. 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 Yeah. And um, so you have uh, that little. Uh, thing that I mentioned and you have this you know the sun two pillars uh, and this is the symbol of metamorphosis that I'm saying uh, yeah it's it's my idea you know it's uh, no one else is saying like that but that's simply how it is this is a symbol for metamorphosis you know which is the beginning the beginning being the end and I'm, I'm beginning to, to get the 
I'm beginning to like I'm I'm going deep into this fractal stuff and I'm beginning to see my end actually you know I'm beginning to see the end which is the beginning I'm be I'm beginning to see the end which is the beginning and um, um yeah uh, but this is not about me actually um but uh, in reality yeah this swear is is uh, is the Koenig König swear which is the king's swear the king's pearl you know so it's about metamorphosis and the movie uh, the walk will I, I will show you this literally happening in the movie it's as if and I'm telling you it's artistic susceptibility the artist of the movie the, the director and and, uh, and so on these guys get a download from the divine from god or whatever artistic inspiration which makes them draw this they they they, they, they make the movie so that it becomes like this literally a uh, a, sp a spirit going inside between the tower and the two towers are supposed to fall you know Jesus talks a lot in the Bible about this destruction of temples I don't know if you know about that did you know um, so yeah so we're going to get back to that movie now and uh, yeah also metamorph metamorphose is is um, is when a, a rock you know, a rock, a rock can can undergo metamorphism. You know, and it's a bit supernatural, as you see here also. So there are many, there are many, uh, there are many clues. There's there are many clues for you to to find. And um, uh, so uh, it all ties together, um, as I have shown many times, but. Um, yeah, you seek of truth. You seek the truth, and you metamorphize, in some sense. Uh, so let's get back to the walk because this video is actually about that. And uh, so he is lying between the two towers, crucified. You see, in a crucified stance, and um, below him is that pearl, the pearl of the king, which is crucified onto him. This is the poster of the movie, the walk, the the, the poster for for that movie, you know, and uh, so the pearl is literally on the cross. On that poster yeah it is and so what happens is that something that you will see we will look at this scene when he lies down and um, oh this is this is not the poster this is just one of the most uh, most uh, looked on images from the walk movie um, and the, the pearl happens to be on this crucifix on the behind his leg his leg you see but now I will show you some really interesting stuff I hope I didn't mess this up uh, let's see is it better like this Let's see. Yeah, that's better. So, so guys, listen to this. Listen to this, and and we'll we'll take this. I'll show it a few times, but this is really important, and it shows the metamorphism that I've been talking about, and it shows how how the how there is. Uh, destruction of the towers because of the spirit going inside <laughs> it's so amazing i'm so 
I'm so happy that I saw this and yeah, let's look at it. Now I've seen everything. Damn straight. This dude is righteous. <laughs> you see, this dude is righteous. Um this dude is righteous, you see? And let's continue. It's just, you know, what is righteous? Well, the thing that is crucified is in some sense righteous. And it is between the towers. It is the two pillars, you see, of, of the duality. Um, how do you say? Yeah, I talked about that. Let's continue. You better start wrapping it up. There's a storm front moving in. I'll slow it down. This is so important. There on my back, the sky fills my vision. The clouds. They're like music. Then something appears. An apparition, a bird. This bird is looking at me, and I feel this silent threat. Suddenly, I'm invaded by doubts. I'm thinking maybe the cable is tired of supporting me. What if my towers are talking to each other? What if they've had enough? What if maybe the towers have had enough. Maybe they're talking to each other. And the, the, the two pillars of, of, the, of the good and evil have had enough. The spirit was visiting him the bird was visiting him and the two towers are having enough you see what if they decide to eject me and we have the destruction that there's starting to be a bit of destruction of the towers because the spirit went and visited him and in some sense went within so it's starting to break Maybe it's time for me to end this trespassing. So we'll take it again. Um, okay. Straight. This dude is righteous. This dude is righteous. He's saying that because, um, yeah, he represents the 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 path of enlightenment. Which is uh, righteous. You better start wrapping it up. There's a storm front moving in. Okay, Philippe. Il est temps d'arrêter là. There on my back, the sky fills my vision. The clouds. They're like music. Then something appears. Now comes the spirit, the Holy An Spirit. A bird. The Holy Spirit. This bird is looking at me. And I feel this silent threat. You see, you see, it's real. The the you see the let's let's go back. Oh, the bird, the bird is there, you know. So th this is this is real. The, the spiritual stuff that I'm saying here to you, it's never been written anywhere. It's, it, do it doesn't really, it's not known, you know, the metamorphosis and the sp the, this. There are only vague, vague stories about this that no one really have sold. No one has really 
gone into this this um, what do you call this a allegories that it's biblical allegories that no one really had tried to 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 deeply understand because if they did it would have spread there's no one that knows this but somehow somehow the director of a of a movie knows about this the spirit that comes comes and and, and visits him and uh, in some sense goes within just like uh, like a show uh, with, with this um, it, it's represented by this sun because you have wait and you have this symbol of, of this is the symbol to, to the left to the top left in my opinion I'm just I'm just uh, it's my claim okay I'm claiming that this is the symbol of metamorphosis this is the symbol of the beginning equaling the end which is you uh, like your mind which is uh, uh, an egg you know it's the egg and this egg is fertilized and and your egg is fertilized and the material um, you know um, and um, everything everything is talk talking about this we, we are like we, we, we are chit-chatting on, on the collective unconscious. We are chit-chatting with each other. Artists uh, and movie producers. We're all talking to each other about this. About this ex experience of, of something that we never really talked about on a, on a conscious level. We never, we never talked about this. But it's there. It's in the movie. You see? And, and it's literally there. An apparition, a bird. This bird is looking at me, and I feel this silent threat. So the metamorphosis began because the bird metaphorically went inside him. You know, this is a this is a realistic movie, so a, so a bird cannot enter him. But actually, what should have happened? Uh, because it, it this is realistic, you know, so you won't see it with your eyes. But what really should have happened is that that bird should have went into him and joined him. And then afterwards, the two towers breaks, you know, and, and he somehow survives because he's like the Superman, you know. Easy, easy, easy. Suddenly I'm invaded by doubts. I'm thinking maybe the cable is tired of supporting me. What if my towers are talking to each other? What if they've had enough? What if they decide to eject me? Maybe the towers are talking to each other. Maybe they have had enough. Maybe that the two towers of good of and evil have had enough. And this 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 play, the, this silly game that's going on with on one side we have people pretending to be good on the other hand we have people pretending to be bad and and in reality maybe even the people that are trying to look good actually are, are, are the bad guys that that are, are, are cowards you know cowards that that just deny things you know and um it's upside down, backwards, but at the same time, sometimes it's like, no, we can't keep it going anymore, and the spirit goes inside, just like this movie. Don't you think so? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you, I think, I think you can see this, right? Then something appears. An apparition. 
bird. This bird is looking at me. And I feel this silent threat. Okay, guys. Um, I think this is all. Uh, and I showed you what I wanted to show. And this is... Let, let's quickly look through these images. So, we have... Uh, we have uh, metamorphosis, which is the spirit coming inside, and there's the pearl, and the pearl is also next to him. You can see here. You see the pearl, and you see the pearl there. You know, it, it's the same. Of course, the pearl is visible. Oh, what what am I doing now? So you have this. You have this pearl, right? And, and the same pearl is visible for him, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's there. It's there, to the left, the pearl. And you have the spirit. Um, and, um, well, I think this is all, guys. I think, I think you realize here what's going on. And in some sense, in some sense, there are these allegories. Allegories and riddles. That we never really talk about, and no one really solves them on on a conscious level, but still, uh, our unconscious is is chit chatting with each other, and we create art for for our unconscious to enjoy, and and uh, somehow at some time reach this state that that um, that we in some sense know is is there and we know it's possible and uh, therefore it's it's like all around us in this movie for example and uh, yeah so that's that's my take on on the walk uh, 2015 have a good day evening Bye-bye.